Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Around a month ago, I received an email from someone asking me if I had any videos that demonstrate this new technique to process color photos. That is, before you do anything, you convert the image to black and white, do most of your processing of the image while it is black and white, then at the end, you add back the color. And I said, no, I, I really don't have any videos like that. Can you send me a link to an article or a video so I could see exactly what you're talking about? Well, they emailed me back a link to a video by the photographer Mark McGee. Once I watched his video, I realized he's doing something called selective color. And I have several videos on selective color. And I really wouldn't call it a new technique. My earliest video on selective color is probably around seven years old. And I definitely wasn't the first person to ever do a video on it. With that said, I do like the way Mark does it in his video. So today, I am going to show you how I would go about doing selective color. And in the description below this video, I'll have a link to Mark's video. And I encourage you, if this is something you're interested in, to watch his video to see how he goes about doing it. Now, I have this unprocessed RAW file. It is a color photo, and I want to end up with a color photo. But the first thing we're going to do is convert it to black and white. And we don't do it the way we typically would. Usually, you would go to the Basic tab and click on black and white. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is go to the HSL tab and go to the saturation sub tab and take all eight of these sliders down to minus 100. And once you do that, you're removing the saturation of every color that is in the image and you end up with a black and white image. Now process it as you normally would. I'll go to the basic tab. I'm going to bring highlights down, open up shadows. I'm just going to do this very quickly. Hold my Option key on my Mac, Alt key on a PC to get a white point. Similarly, I'll do that for the black point. And I'll add some clarity. I want to make the sky a bit darker, so I'm going to get a mask. I'm going to select the sky. And I am going to bring exposure down. And maybe kick up contrast a bit. And kick up clarity a lot. Get a little, maybe bring the highlights down a little more. I'm starting to get a little haloing. I gotta be careful I'm getting some haloing around here. So maybe we won't kick up the highlights. That's good. All right. I'm really done with the image as far as most of the processing is concerned. Now I have to work on the color. And to do that, we're going to go back. Oh, I didn't want to do that. We want to go back to the HSL tab and then just move these sliders to the right and see what part of the image they affect. I'll take the red slider, move it to the right. And it looks like it's making a little color, or adding a little color here and maybe back in here and over here, but not much, not much there. Similarly, I'll move oranges or orange to the right and you can see it's affecting the lighthouse a tiny bit and the signs a little bit, yellow, adding a little more color to that lighthouse. Green, gonna affect the grasses. Aqua is gonna, should affect the water and it does and blue the sky and purple probably not much and magenta not much after you've added saturation to your liking for each of those individual colors what you could do then is either go to hue and lumen or luminance next i'll go to luminance and the grasses here are just too bright so i'm going to bring the yellows down maybe bring the greens down a little open up the reds there's not much in red though aqua will make the water a little brighter maybe the sky a little darker with the blue purple nothing magenta nothing they always get left out if you want to shift a color go to hue um maybe we'll shift the yellows a little bit yeah and once you're done with the hsl tab next you want to do color grading so you would go to the color grading tab and here you could affect the colors that are in the midtone shadows and highlights. So I'm going to start with the highlights and I'm just going to make those a bit warmer and I'll move the this slider around below it a little bit and then we'll go to the shadows make those a bit cooler and midtones I think I want to make those a bit warmer as well maybe not those that kind of looked weird. So 
anyway, then you do color grading. And that's it. That's how you go about doing this technique, selective color. Now, in my opinion, I don't think it's something I would use on a landscape image or a seascape image, but I think it does work well, kind of like on urban images, be it street photography or, or something where you have a lot of buildings involved and cars and things like that. So I have this uh, street shot from New York City, and let's do it on this. Again, it is an unprocessed RAW file. I'll just hit reset to make sure. And the first thing we want to do is go to the HSL tab, go to the saturation sub tab, and take all eight of these sliders down to minus 100. And then, once that is done, we have a black and white image. Now we'll go up to the basic tab and do our normal processing again, as we normally would. And we add a bit of contrast, add some texture, clarity. I'm rushing, as you could tell. All right, there is my process black and white image. Let's bring back the color. We'll go to HSL, saturation, red, affecting the cones in the foreground and the vest of the worker. Cars a little bit up in here. So you see how you do this. You just see what it affects. So it affects the taxis and the cars that happen to be have orange in them or orange component in the yellow. Move yellow, green. It's going to affect these trees. Aqua. Kind of giving the shadows a little bit of an aqua tinge. Blue. Kind of like that. Purple, not much. Purple and magenta always get left out. Let's go to luminance. Let's see if we make that the yellows brighter. Orange is brighter. Oh, yeah. Now we're starting to add a little more pop to the image. Let me bring aqua down, blue down, purple, nothing, nothing. I don't think I want to shift any colors with you. Let's jump right to the color grading and let's um let's go to the midtones and just add coolness to the midtones. And maybe add some more excuse me, some warmth to the highlights. And maybe even warmth to the shadows. All right, there's my finished color image. Um, it's okay. Let's try another one. One more, and then again, if this is something you're interested in, I encourage you to watch Mark's video where he does pretty much the same thing I'm doing, but maybe you'll get something from him that you're not getting from me. I have this street shot. Again, it is a unprocessed RAW file. And uh, first thing we do, go to the HSL tab, saturation sub tab, and bring color of each of these, saturation of each of these sliders to minus 100. So we have a black and white image. Then we go up to the basic tab and do our processing here. And like this, I'm gonna add some texture, some clarity. Maybe we'll add some contrast up here, or better yet, let's go to the tone curve and go to this drop down and add some medium contrast there, kind of like that. All right, now I'm ready to add back the color. I'll go to the HSL tab, saturation sub tab, red. What's red doing? Well, it's pretty much these two stars, a little bit of the cone, a little bit of the skin tones. All right. Orange. And yellow. And green. Green's not doing too much. Aqua. Blue. I'll bring it in the shirts. Purple, a little purple. And magenta still left out. Let's go to luminance and let's make the blues brighter. A little bit too dark. And let's make the yellows brighter. Or do we want to make, no, let's make those darker. And orange brighter or darker. Darker too, I think. Luminance. Let's go to the hue. Do I want to shift the blue hue around a little bit? Nah, something like that, I guess. And let's color grade it to finish it off. And let's go with the standard highlights with the yellow, shadows, more towards blue. And there is this image. There's before and there's after. Before, after. So that is this, quote, new way to process color photos by first converting them to black and white 
doing most of your processing in black and white, then adding back so the color with the HSL tab, and then at the very end, color grading it. Uh, let me know what you think of this technique. Is it something you would use? Personally, it's not anything I would do. Maybe I would do something with street photography with it, but it is a lot of work. Um, so you really have to be dedicated uh, to it. But I could see how you could really get a unique look uh, with your image by using this technique. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.